Hello everyone, welcome back to America Truck Solo. We're doing another mod review. This is the Freightliner Superliner mod. It has been updated with 1.4.5 using an owner operated trailer. We got 190 miles gutter hauling um, gutter rails. Guardrails. I'm sorry. Yeah, guardrails is what we're hauling. We're hauling, we're in Bakersfield, California. We're heading up to Carlsbad, California. Should take us eight hours and two minutes to get there. So let's get on the road. Let's get going. So the truck has a Mac engine, Mac transmission. It's still a little bit loud for me. Let me turn it down a little bit more. I turned it down, but it's still a little bit loud. Turn down a little more of the engine sound. Right, right there. I think that'll be okay. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for everyone to come out and join the stream last night. Don't forget we will be having one tonight too. Turn right. We can close that since we do have a GPS in the truck. And we will go over the options for this truck. We always do. Every mod that I do, every mod review I do, I do uh, options, show you all the options for it. In case you're interested in using it. We're getting ready to turn left. Turn left. Fifty-five. Go ahead and get a thumbnail. Go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, guys, I hope everyone's still well. I hope everyone is enjoying the stream that we did last night. So it shouldn't be that long to run. 157 miles to go.
kind of being quiet, sit back, enjoying the ride, enjoying the sound of this truck. This old Mac. I'm being quiet at this moment. Seventy-two miles to go. Already been a long morning, guys.
Now you guys know that I don't use too many modded trucks. Um, you know, it's not the fact of, of the modded truck. Um, the modded trucks are great. It's just that, um, you know, this game updates so much that and trucks cost like a hundred grand for one truck. You know, if you're not using uh, some kind of mod for money and you and you keep changing trucks because of mod for uh, trucks updating the game updating mods are no good stuff like that you know you'd be out of money quick so i'd rather use the scs truck and most of the time only thing that's going to happen is that the engine is not going to work you just have to change out the engine if you're using a modded engine keep right and then exit right Dropping the construction site right here. It's all over now. One thing good about this being a short trailer. A, a day cab truck. I can't see that red light. It's gonna be easier to back it. Okay, is it gonna change? Run it then. It's not. We sit there for like ten minutes. It didn't change. Kind of pull over this way.
can't see. We drove exit. We drove 191 miles. It took us four hours and 54 minutes to get here. We saved 26.2 gallons of fuel. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the day video. I just want to get here and do a video with this uh, modded truck. I'll do like a little mod review. I want to show you all the details on the truck, all the customization options, and everything now. So you can, uh, if you want to get it for yourself, uh, I got it off modsites.com. It has been updated for 1.4.5, so it does work for 1.4.5. So we're gonna go ahead and do trucks. Now there's two ways you can do these. You can go to Mac like this. You can go in your mod dealership. Now we don't want to visit. No. Alright. Max Super Duty right here. Super Liner. Day Cab. Has this option here. This is like for logging. It has the wood um, the rack on the back for logging. Here's your Day Cab. And that's just a 77 uh, day cab with flares. I imagine that being with filters. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright, so you have. Right, let's get it all the way top here. You have engines ranging anywhere from 280 horses, no, 260 horses, which is the max ET673 11L, to the uh, Cat 346E725 horsepower for the truck. Plenty of options for engines for the truck. Transmissions uh, run in a Mac uh, 12 speed. Uh, you have a Mac 6 speed. You have a, F, F, a ZF 16 speed. There's a Mac 12 speed. A Mac Allison transmission of 4500 with a retarder. And then a ZF with a retarder. Inside is two options. You have gray and black. Tan and brown is your uh, uh, interior options. Different colors that you can do for the truck. You can match it here. It does come with some paint schemes. There's a cat paint scheme. Multiple different paint schemes for the truck. So yeah, um, my recommends about the truck is awesome mod. Very well done. Uh, has uh, lots of options. Only thing that I'm really missing with it 
as I wish it had more cab options. I really would like to see uh, at least a cab with a sleeper, maybe a flat top added to it. Um, but yeah, um, awesome looking truck. Um, very well done. Awesome mods. Um, can't say enough about you know how good the truck looked. So thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. And everyone have a good day. We'll see you later.